Hello and welcome back everyone to Universe Sandbox 2 and someone actually put a really simple suggestion in the Discord, uh, discord.gg slash if you're interested. Um, they wanted, I, I don't know if we've done it before, but even if we have, things have changed so much since uh, then. And it was just having the Earth orbit the moon. And I was thinking, you can't really do that without cheating at all because of course, the moon has much, much, much less gravitational uh, pull than the Earth, so the Earth wouldn't be able to orbit the moon. However, we can try to get close by making the moon bigger, and uh, so why not try that? Doesn't hurt anyone. Of course, we kind of destroyed any imperfections of the Earth's orbit, but those aren't really important anyways. I'm sure nobody is going to die because of my actions. Um, in order to make the moon orbitable by Earth, it has to be heavier than Earth. So we're going to give the moon two times the mass of the Earth. And that should... It's not quite enough. See, it's still... The orbit's a bit too oblique. I want it to be kind of round. Like a very, very circular orbit. So let's try doing a moon five times the mass of Earth. I think that'll give us... Yeah, that's much more round. So if we go like this, um, hopefully, yep, so Earth is now orbiting the moon, and Earth is still going to be in the same area pretty much as it always was. So as long as the uh, tidal forces don't heat it up, this should still be survivable uh, for humanity. So here's the big deal about this though, there is going to be one annoying effect of having the Earth and Moon orbiting like this, other than the tidal waves just being absolutely ridiculous. I mean, now we have this giant, giant moon and when the Earth spins it's going to cause some crazy ocean effects. I mean, there's also going to be a measurable difference in gravity on each side of the Earth because of just how close we are to the surface. Um, but the big idea being... When the Earth passes behind the moon, we get these really interesting eclipses, and being on the surface of Earth would be kind of spooky because every, like, few days, it just completely blacks out. Look at that. Now, I guess, mathematically, it wouldn't always line up on the same place because the Earth is spinning, but it would cause a little bit of trouble for uh, well, if you wanted to see, at the time when it's going back there, um, it would be kind of a second night on one of the days, and it would probably get really annoying. Um, also, when you're looking at the moon from Earth, there will be a point when the moon will have a mark on it where Earth is casting its shadow. So if we were like at nighttime on Earth, the sunlight's still going to be able to hit the moon because the moon is much bigger, so we aren't completely blocking it. But looking up into the sky, we see this massive moon, and as we move in front of it, we're going to see that we're actually casting a shadow onto the moon. Come on. Come on. Make my point. Okay. This is taking a little bit, but... As we pass in front of the moon, we should see the effect. Wow, I feel I feel very slow considering how long this is taking. Um, it's getting brighter, which means we probably just have to go a little bit further. Really? What's going on here? There should be a shadow on the moon, no? Did we wait too long? Maybe we waited too long. Let's just let the Earth go around a second time. The Earth do a quick orbit. I doubt anything will go wrong when we do that. Because nothing ever goes wrong. Okay. Come on. It's the Earth eclipse. If you were on the moon, it would look rather odd. Although most humans don't live on the moon. Is it just not casting shadows anymore? Oh, there we go. There is our Earth Eclipse. 
very clear we can see it and if you were on earth you'd be able to see it too if you looked up into the sky you'd be able to see what why why is the game doing this okay let's try this if we sneak in front of the earth if we pause we sneak I don't know why the game is being weird about this but if you oh that's so weird it's something about how it's doing the shadows if we're in front of the object, it doesn't render the shadow. But, <clears throat> if you were on Earth, you would actually see that. How you were blocking the light. And it would look really interesting. There would be one point in the day where you'd see the moon in the sky and you'd see just a black spot in the center of the moon. Probably cause some very interesting mythology if it was a, a thing when the humans were primal. There'd probably be some devil or something we made up after it. Look at that. That's actually, if we do this, if we're focused on the moon, we can see it, so. Now that's neat. Now if you were on the moon and you were looking up, yeah, look, it's, it's pitch black on the moon. If you looked up at the earth, you'd see all the cities and stuff on Earth pretty clearly because they're very close together and you can see that it's it's an eclipse it's a uh, Earth eclipse you can see the corona of the Sun around it although maybe that's just the bloom not really the corona yeah it's not quite that big never mind slightly wrong there and then we can see the Sun poking out and it's kind of sunrise but not really because it's just an eclipse look at that that's neat that is very neat. Earth causing some issues for the moon. Overall though, it does cause a few really interesting uh, situations. You wouldn't expect that. And if we look far away, it's like, it's kind of odd seeing the moon that large compared to the Earth. Wish we could get a pretty neat line up here. I don't know. I think it's kind of neat that it does that. Um, but I know what you all are thinking. Spike, this isn't exciting enough. We need a little bit of explosion. So, since we've already pulled off uh, all of the above, XP for Twitch is coming soon. Um, anyways, since we have already done this, let's try putting a ring around Earth and see how it gets affected by the moon's gravity. Let's just do a simple Saturn ring around Earth. Oh, look at that. It's actually going straight into the moon. Yikes. That was not good placement if you wanted it to survive. But the moon is actually retaining some of it and it's flinging it back at Earth, which is... A little bit of trouble if you live on Earth. <laughs> this is getting very messy very fast. The moon really messed it up. Darn it, moon. Y y you've done it this time. It's okay, we'll just increase the mass of the moon. By ten times. Ooh! Okay. Earth has collided with the moon. Uh, the moon is now very angry. Very angry. Wow. Lots of little marks from that. <laughs> We've got a few things that are just orbiting. The moon has moons. Oh no, the moon vaporized. Oh, that's sad. Okay, we lost everything. That's unfortunate. I hate it when I lose my planet and my moon. I wonder what it would... There would be some really large uh, effects on the Earth, obviously, if we were orbiting another body, but... I'm sure it would be a pretty interesting way of life. <laughs> I wonder how close Earth can get to the moon before it gets, like, scary. Like this, this is really close together. But, like, is it end of the world material? Because right now we're kind of getting a binary orbit. The moon is being pulled by the Earth. And it's getting moved around by it. But the Earth doesn't seem to be... The tidal forces aren't melting it. It's warm. It's 
50 degrees Celsius, but it's not quite death. And that's without the sun. So the the Earth could actually survive without sun. Oh, oh, the moon is actually ripping material off of the Earth now. Yeah, that's a problem. The reason why that's a big problem is as the moon gains mass, it gains more of an ability to rip the material off of Earth. Okay, it seems fine again now. At this distance, though, the uh, Earth would actually get elongated in whichever direction it was uh, close to the moon because planets actually act uh, like liquids at scale. So, there's some wacky effects. Oh, look at that. There's water on the moon now. The, the Earth just dropped some water on the moon. Now there's a lake. Now all it would take to throw this off... Oh! Oh, it stole even more mass from the Earth. Huh. It's kind of random when it decides to do that. It took, uh... 2% of the Earth. Very intense. It's a lot of mass, though, if you think about it. Let's just very slightly increase the mass of the moon. Okay, so now, now it's really starting to affect the Earth. Um, especially considering it's gaining more mass as time goes on from stealing it from the Earth. Oh, no! Oh, no, Earth! Earth! Oh. Earth, Earth's in a... Imagine just standing around and then you get ripped off the planet. <laughs> get ripped onto the, uh, the moon. Oh, jeez. This is, uh... This is kind of the sad, the sad truth. We wouldn't really be able to survive in a situation like this, most likely. It's just too brutal. Oh, but there it seems to be uh, buddying up again. It doesn't seem to be dying anymore. Lost its atmosphere, sure. Lost part of its ocean, sure. Lost a lot of mass, wow. Okay, it lost half of its mass. Is it small enough now that the gravity isn't enough? Oh no, it's not. It got ripped apart even more. Oh, the it's just hitting that point where the moon is gaining the mass so quickly. And as time goes on, the Earth just slowly gets ripped apart more and more and more and more. On the bright side, it's taken about 20 days so far. 21 days. Okay, the Earth is so small now. It's got it's got no strength. In comparison to the moon the moon is just ripping earth apart it's it's pretty much over now there's not much hope left a very disappointing tale of what happens when the moon gets angry but overall Overall, I'm actually surprised Earth lasted as long as it did. Hmm. Well then, I guess we've seen what happens when Earth orbits the moon. You, you could pull it off, it's just it would have very, uh... Ignoring this ridiculous simulation, the first one, we did manage to pull it off, it would just... Things would be very different. <laughs> um... I, I kind of wonder what the tidal forces would be like, especially on oceans and stuff. You just have constant tsunamis, really. That's all for today, guys. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. I'm going to be cutting down on the Universe Sandbox too soon and doing more... I don't know. This isn't feeling too spicy to me right now, but we'll see. Peace out, guys. See you all next time.